hi fam welcome again to the channel and this is the part two of the previous um, video i made on baggy trouser pants and um, top which is a um, two-piece tutorial i made earlier and this will be the part two of it if you haven't subscribed to the channel please kindly subscribe to my channel and turn on your notification bell so let's get into this video now and this is the um sewing parts like i said earlier and um i'll be making casing with this um and the casing will be two inches after folding it then from that place i'll go down again by half an inch then from there i'll you know insert my pocket which i already did on both sides both the back and the front pattern of the pant so now you just sew it with um one inches and then half an inch on this side till you go to the other side and then you maintain your one inches after coming out you maintain your one inches to the end of the um part and uh, pant opening down opening of your pant so um after doing that i already made this um blouse which is the bubu uh, part of the um baggy so this is the bias i've made through it i've top stitched it and again i'm going to be adding m gum to this later on and if you don't want to use your m gum to do this you can also you know stitch it like so twice and then sew it round and that will be all for the neck part and this is the um sleeve part of the bubu top i already did um one inches um for the closing part and then i'll come out again by one inches i'll end my stitches there so remember we are going to be folding i'm going to be folding this in so you take your measuring tape after folding it um depends on your preference i will be leaving it at this six inches then i will stitch it like so my opening will start from there and end um from that point there and that will be all for the bubble part of the two piece so now I'll go to my machine and come back and show you so this is it i already made um the whole of the pattern for this um i've already joined it together as you can see i inserted the pocket on both side and again um the center part of the pant has already been made so i ran like um, half an inch on the front part of the pants of the baggy so this is half an inch from the waistline to the um, depth of the crush line so as you can see so now i just want to you know explain how I come about with these uh, stitches I just made so from that half an inch you put your tape measuring tape like so from that point there then whatever your waist is remember I said we'll be using our um, hip measurement for this um, tutorial for this bubble so whatever your hip measurement is you outline it and then you end it there you come again to the midpoint where your pocket starts from you measure your hip again to the uh your upper hip measurement this time around you measure it whatever it gets you stitch it and then as you can see me doing then when you get to your bootle area um you go out by um, to, um your hip measurement divided by two then you add extra one inches just to make sure it is you know giving that a uh, baggy 
um, shape. Then you connect it straight down to meet with your crush depth and you make it half an inch so that when you are connecting, when you are joining both the back and the front together, it will um, be accurate with it. So now after doing that, what I will do next is I will go to my um, surgeon now, to my machine, and I will stitch this down going by one inch. Then when I get to this, um, when I'm getting towards the crush depth, I will take it by half an inch and then come out again to meet with the other side and I will take one inches and that will be all for the down part so after doing that i'll come back to the waistline remember we are going to be inserting rope and not um you can actually put elastic band if you feel like but i will be putting rope in this um bobo i mean in this bag i'm making so i'll stitch it down with um one and a half inches and then i'll use half inches for the sewing allowance so there's another details on how you can insert your rope so just watch closely as i explain so after doing this you take your pin after folding that area down you take your pin and then you secure this down with your pin do you understand as you can see me doing this is where the rope will be passing through but we need a a, a, a a visible opening on the front area whereby you can pass your rope through so that is where i'll be chalking like an half inches you will chalk it down just make sure you fold it and you secure it before doing this so after doing this now, the next thing I will do now is um, take off the pin and then, then I will take my chalk again and then I will um, outline it on the wrong side of this side of, uh, of the side I just chalked the other time in the front side. So after doing that, I will lose that area now just make sure when you're losing it you don't lose more than that area that is why um the chalk was being put as you can see i already made a hole like um half an inch out of the hole of the um place i'm folding now i will go to my machine and you know go and um, stitch everything and come back to show you guys how it comes out so this is it i'm done with the sewing of the bubu top as you can see so this is the opening and then here is the sleeve parts and this is the neck um line I'll, I'll be i'll be adding hem gum to it and that will be all for the um bubble top so here is the baggy pants now i already turned in the waist line i said earlier and this is the down part of it as you can see how lovely that looks so now here is the rope i made out of the this out of the a remnant of the fabric and remember here is the hole as you can see the tiny hole which i'll be passing this um rope through now and this is my safety pin i will insert my safety pin into this um rope now and then i'll be passing this through that um half an inch oh i made earlier so that my rope can pass through this um casing i made so now after passing this through that will be all for the 
um, baggy pants and I hope you will enjoy this part 2 of this um, baggy pants please if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet kindly do so and turn your notification bell on so as to get notified each time I upload new videos because I do so every week and again like comment and don't forget to share this video to as many as you want to show this um, tutorial to and again if you're already a subscriber thank you so much for subscribing to the channel god bless you and um if you're interested in learning online about corset drafting custom made wedding dresses i'm available kindly send in your email and um, i'll be sure to respond to you because i take every um classes on fashion pattern drafting online so guys thank you again for staying soon thank you for your time so far thank you so much and here is the outcome here is the final look you can draw it and this can fit from you know size 8 to size 14 this is what you can actually sell out you can use this for you know ready to wear business because what is a free dress i mean is a free boo boo wear you can either rock it either how uh, however your size is you can sell it out you can make this for from size 8 to 14 presently i'm size 10 8 to 10 so thank you guys once more bye until i see you again in the next one god bless you